So I wanted to make this video for all of my beautiful nieces who are young enough to know of or follow or listen to this guy, the baby. Um, he's got this new music video that has some of us, some of our young sisters up in arms because he's got no dark skinned, uh, unambiguously black women in the video. My thing is do not block your blessing because it is in disguise. Baby, sweetie, honey, pretty, princess, do not block your blessing because it's in disguise. Let these men phase you out of this ratchet, lowly, degenerate culture. Let them phase you out. Do not protest for a spot in these tip drill-esque type music videos. You don't need to be in them. Dark-skinned black women are some of the most beautiful, graceful, feminine women on the planet. But because of our reputation, because of the stereotypes that hip-hop culture, that this gangster rap has given us, like, oh my God, like people think we're the worst thing ever. Let these women replace you. Let them be the baby mamas. Let them be the women twerking and thongs who don't get paid for it and anything but attention. So they can be 40 and say, well, one time I was in a in a music video with with uh, this crooked smile, having baby mama making little boy named the baby, some grown man who called himself, you know, a newborn, a toddler. Come on now, don't be under. Please don't find yourselves asking them, where are the chocolate women? No, 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 no. Divine dark skin. Uh, uh, Chrissy. No, this is still corrective promotion. Not promoting us in these videos is still corrective promotion. Now, here's what I do understand. I don't know if you've ever heard me sing, rap, see me dance or act, but honestly, and this is no, this is, look, take it as tea, take it as shade. I'm out doing all these girls. I'm out doing the majority of them, even at my age. So when I was younger, I could literally rap at the same cadence as Twista and Busy Bone, and that's a fact. Now they have these girls who can barely s I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. My feet is in this thing, but my feet is in bodega. Da -da -da -da. Remember when it used to be about bars and hooks and and how well you could catch a pocket and flow and make sense and hit a punchline and be creative? These women aren't writing their own things. I mean, this is why we had Queen Latifah's and MC Lights and why we victimize so much Nicki Minaj, who, I mean... If you say Little Kim is the is the queen of rap, I agree. But Nikki's the goat. You don't have to like her her attitude, but pound for pound lyricism, she's out doing men and women, and that's a fact. She's out doing I don't know what are the greatest female rapper, blah 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 female. No, just just as a rapper, her lyricism is gut checking. I I feel like I got checked all over my body. <clears throat> When I listen to Nicki Minaj, because I, Chocolate Angel, I, Uppity Unicorn, I'm a lyricist. I'm a writer. I am a writer. So I get it. I get the ballpoint finger roll. I, I, I get that. Because that's my area. That's an actual rapper. Left Eye was a rapper. MC Light was a rapper. Mia X, oh my God, was a rapper chopping up men on stage. Y'all don't get it. This is why some of these little Gen X, uh, I mean, Gen Z kids are stuck listening to hip hop from Generation X because y'all aren't making it do what it used to do. It's, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Dame my gasolina, I'm the trap -solina. But look at like a cut a look. I'm like, you sound like you're struggling to get every word out of your mouth. What happened? What happened? I don't I don't mm. Now I did like Bodak Yellow. I did like uh Red Bars by Cardi B, but I'm just like 
these men are purposely replacing you with Latinas and white women and Asian women. They don't want anything noticeably black. These are the cones. And here's the deal, you divesters and you pre-divesters and you swirl is like, and even you pro-black women, this is a message that all of you can take to the bank and cash it. These are the kind of black men you don't want. You shouldn't want little Wayne. And if you do, I'm sorry. You shouldn't want 50 cent. And if you do, I'm sorry. You should not want the baby. And if you do, I'm sorry. These are the black men. Oh my God. These are the black men who don't want you. These are the colorists. These are the coons. These are the internalized racism having men who turn around and abuse you because you were created in their image. And they're giving you a huge sign, a huge flag that says, hey, don't come over here. It's going to be problems. The minute you hear somebody turn up Chris Brown on the radio, you know you're not his type. That's a blessing. Don't block your blessing out here trying to be faithful to the wrong type of men. No. These are signs, especially for those pro-black women who feel like they want to divest because they're so sick of black men. No, 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 no. Black men are amazing. It's these black boys. It's like what Chris Rock said. There's a difference between African-American and ngas, okay? Let these ngas show you who they are and be happy. Girl, go put on a tutu. Go put on some pearls and pull your hair back in a ballerina bun and, and be classy and marry yourself a millionaire. Be proud of the fact that you never uh, twerked while in a split on, uh, what is it, um, social media. And here's the deal, I'm not saying that you're a clown if you did it, I'm just saying like, they are giving you what you need. This is the inverse of the Chrissy. This is the inverse. I mean, this not promoting us in these videos is, is giving us a chance to promote ourselves in a better light. Let them have all these light, bright, darn near white women in their videos twerking in splits. And then you get to be in something, you know, like Venom. You get to be in something like, oh, there are 10 black girls on my area code and all these girls get to be in the show. Like, bro sis this is good for you this is that robotessin this is that diamond tap this is that bitter medicine that mm, it, it's bitter all the way down but honey the result is is healing oh my goodness learn how to accept this be happy that you didn't see your own image reflected in this thing i get that as the mothers of hip-hop it hurts because we we gave birth to this culture we gave birth, and birth is messy. We bled, we died. We protested, we fought. We sacrificed for hip hop, for rap, for all of these things. We are little Kim. Y'all gonna keep messing around with her, changing her face and her color. You would too if you were stuck in the world that she's stuck in. It's not good for you, it's toxic for the black woman. And that, as the queen of rap, we've seen what has happened to her. So what about you, who are not even a princess or a duchess? Get out of there. Not a royal, not a noble, just a listener, just a fan. Get out of there. How many women who are made in your beautiful brown skin, dark skin image? You know, oh, no darkies in the club, no darkies in the VIP. Great. Now you know. Now you know. Because what's going to happen is... You're going to be pushed out of these areas until you're pushed back into the jazz clubs and you're pushed back into the opera and you're pushed back into high art and you by your dark skin because people will become so used to seeing you in high classy areas. They will be like, oh, she's one of those untouchable, you know, those, those high class, unreachable, dark skin, African-American women. You know, those are the decent ones. You know, it's always the light skin ones, you know, with their, you know, twerking in a split in a thong. Let that be the new stereotype. That's okay for you. That's okay for you. You can benefit from that type of thing. Let yourself be Kelly Rowland. Let yourself be the dark-skinned woman who... Girl, there's nothing wrong with being a baby Angela Bassett. Young Betty Shabazz. That, that's fine. You need that. You need that. 
uh, thank you to the baby. I mean, and, and this, it, duh, baby. And the thing that's sad about this is that these girls were not even paid. See, in the early 2000s, it paid to be a video vixen. You got paid on set the way that you, the way that the rappers got paid. You got famous like rappers got famous. They were featured on MTV like, yo, this is, this is the girl from, from the big pimping video with Jay-Z and, and, and it's not like that anymore. You only get paid in attention. And take it as a person who has been in a recording studio, who has done film and, and screen and a girl, you will be on set for a day and a night, and I do mean 24 hours, and might get featured for a couple of seconds at a time with all the work that you did, with all the poses, with all the splits, with all the dancing, with all the bruises, you leave a set. I remember Beyonce was like, if I bleed, it's good. It means it's going to be because you work that hard. Yes, Beyonce is the hardest working woman in show business, but I mean, we, we all of us have bled on the set. So when we say blood, sweat, and tears, we mean it. If you've ever been an entertainer, if you've ever been a performer, if you've ever been in musical theater or theater by itself, if you've ever been a performer, you know. If you've ever been a cheerleader, you know. If you've ever been an athlete, you know. This is their blood, sweat, and tears for free. This is their blood, sweat, and tears for validation. This is their blood, sweat, and tears for, for 15 seconds of fame, not even 15 minutes. It's not even 14.59 on the clock for these girls. No one knows their names. <laughs> no one knows their, you don't know my name. <laughs> Nobody knows. Let them take over the mantle of video professional. Let them take the, the oh my God, you better pass that baton and pass it quick. Dark skinned black girl and, and the brown skins in the middle. So what he didn't put you in that video? Why is this new to you? None of them are putting them in our us in their videos. Yeah, there are sons, but hey, stop giving birth to men like this. If you can't ensure you're not going to raise a the baby or a 50 cent or a Wayne, stop having these boys. Powers in between your legs. You know what to do. I don't have to get graphic. Two words. Kendall St. Charles. You know what to do. Stop being the mother of your own grief. Give these men a rest. Boycott them indefinitely. Don't even boycott. Just divest. And don't divest from the African-American man who is Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. No, not him. We want him. We like him. We need this. This is good. Don't divest from the black man who's a mason and who is a blue collar businessman, business owner. Don't divest from him. Don't divest from the guy who's got pride and who wants a black wife and, and loves black love. No, but these guys are wearing big divestment flags. Some of us are not ready to be truly divested because we know that there's good out there. Because if there are good black women, then that necessarily means that there are good black men. Period. But these little hip hopper, oh my God, they're dirty looking. When did you, do you take those girls off, brush your teeth and put them back in? Or do you just wake up and sleep and, oh my God. Save yourself, black woman, all the STDs and HIV you have. Do you know it's because you're sharing so many of the same men? Because you want to be valid to some of the same men? Because you can't get them to validate your skin color, so you're hoping that you have some kind of a bed game, head game, that's going to make it... No! No. Let them show you who they are. So you can get yourself on a Maya Angelou tip and say, hey, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Believe these men. Believe that they hate you. Believe that they won't date you. Believe that they will only rape you. Believe that these are horrible people who do not value the beauty and the goodness that you are. And don't ever let them tell you because what's happening now on social media is that we're catching on to them and they know right? Kevin Samuels got so much feedback about disrespecting black women that now he's strategically trying to be nice. And the, and the idiot among women, the idiots among women are like, oh, well, he's not mean to everybody. Girl, shut up. 
Shut your trap, shut your face. It's only to keep you there. It's only to keep you there because it's money. He showed you who he was the first time around. You better believe it. And if you don't, it's to your own detriment. Suffer then. You want so badly to be picked. Pick yourself. Pick yourself. Pick you. And maybe somebody of quality will pick you too. My man listens to hip hop, but I mean KRS One, a tribe called Quest. He's not listening. He, he's not listening to Da Baby. <sighs> what in the B Simone is wrong with us? What? Why? Let these men bless you. And do not block your blessing. Let them leave you out of their dirty, raunchy, trash, low culture videos. You go be a jazz dancer in somebody's video. You go be a model. Naomi Naomi Campbell yourself to pieces. Iman the Somali model yourself to pieces. Tyra Banks yourself into oblivion. Go be great. Go be great. Don't be in the middle of a city on some gassy uh, oil spilled cement twerking with, with, with your private parts too close to the ground. So you can pick up all kind of cement and, and, and hot venom mucus loogies all over the floor. Ew. You think they, they, they uh, pressure wash these, th- these streets before these girls started dancing with their bare skin on it? Isn't your bare skin important to you? I can barely sleep with the same pillowcase. Gosh, darn it. Just because of my own hair products, my own conditioner, my own lotions. I have to change that mug out. And these girls are on the street. How clean do you think these boats were before they busted it open on these boats? Oh, we're in the water. Okay. Bet then. But it's still a bad look. Let them look bad. Let them look bad. You know why? Because they have more autonomy than you. At the end of the day, they get to do this raunchy stuff and be seen as more than raunchy, but you don't because we're black, okay? We're black, we're identifiably black. We don't get those kind of chances, we, we don't. You were born in this world given a reputation that you didn't even earn and it's hard. It's so hard to disassociate yourself from those kind of things. So when these men give you a leg up in disguise, take it. Let these diseased, itching, burning men be with their preferences. Let them be the baby mamas. Let them have the multiple baby daddies. Let them be on Section 8 and welfare and and WIC. Girl. Let them be in the high rises. Let Let them have their racially ambiguous high rises. You go to the burbs. You go be a city girl in somewhere like downtown, you know, I don't know, Dallas, DFW. And be in some, you know, $350,000 condo in the sky, some, some penthouse apartment. With a good black man or a good blue man or a good white man or a good any kind of man who is, high, who, who is cultured with high culture. This is slop. Drop a slop. The baby, a boogie in London. They, 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 they. Drop a slop. Say it with me. Drop a slop. Drop a slop. Crack is whack. Crack is cheap. Drop a slop. Drop a slop. Girl, we shouldn't be up in arms about anybody's multiple baby daddy no it'd be one thing if it was a divorced man a former husband of however many years do not be up in arms about anybody's baby daddy make that decision today and don't say to yourself well there are so many there are so many no 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 erect a standard men actually change when you erect a standard because they want women 
But in reality, whether they change or not, you clearly need to erect that standard for you. Because you giving these men chances is leaving you with babies without fathers and stretch marks and diseases and and debt and bad credit. And good God, give these men away. You want him, Afro-Latina? You want him, Dame Mas Gasolina? Have him, Trap Salina. Have him. Have him. We good over here. Get you a blurred. Get you a black nerd, okay? Get get you a black man in STEM. Get you a black man who, you know, is a blue collar scholar. Like, get, bro, sis, I mean. Don't find yourself looking disgusting in these comments. We already look disgusting in the comment sections of people who are pandering to us. Like these, some of these uh, Mayo men. Catch the reference because some words you can't say. Can't say ape with an R. Can't say ite with a W. Some of these Mayo men who are just like, oh, want lots of likes? Just so you like black girls. Ha ha ha. Who are going to be so TikTok famous because we said we like dark-skinned women and you look thirsty you look parched (laughs) you look like a desert dingleberry in their comment section like oh you like us you like you leave them alone and they're them they're pandering those are the panda bears but this guy's not even pandering he's telling you out and out That as long as he can get next to somebody who doesn't look like you, he's better than you. And you're saying, but what about us? But what? No, 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 no. You don't feature here. You're not a factor here. And niece, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Go let these guys kiss each other and and have uh, homosexual rituals and 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 sacrifice their family members for fame. Like like like, go let them do that. You be better. It's money out here. There's happiness out here. There's life out here. You don't need them. You just need to learn a new way. TT, love you. TT, love you. And I'm only trying to help. Be grateful that your image is not in this nasty, dirty, raunchy, disrespectful video. And here's the compassion. Because when I was younger, I didn't understand either. I didn't understand either. I learned the hook to tip drill. It must be oh, because it ain't your face. You tip, you know. I learned it. I thought it was a cool song. I thought it was a cool beat to dance to and all that stuff. And then when I was old enough to realize what Nelly had done wrong to black women in that video, it was at a time where his sister had gotten sick, and he went to all these black female colleges trying to find his sister a match. In Spelman College, the college that I wanted to go to, the private uh, institution for uh, women only, they were like, apologize or go away, boy. (laughs) And that was when I got it. So I didn't always understand either. But sometimes... You don't have to bite the donut to know that it's sweet. Auntie just has to tell you, hey, that's a whole lot of sugar. And you say, okay, we got diabetes in our family history and I don't want Nan. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this, you know, crispy, you know, whatever. This donut. I was going to say a donut brand, but I don't want to get in trouble. (sighs) It's all right. You don't have to be picked by everybody, and you're not going to be picked by everybody. I remember listening to this biracial, bisexual guy say Beyonce wasn't attractive. And I was looking at him and how his lower body was built like a woman, how the guy had a big behind and hips. And I'm just like, you are the last person on earth who could ever judge B. The last person. But here's the deal. Sometimes people lesser than you will think that they are more or or not choosier. The remedy to feeling hurt by that is knowing who you are. You created all of this. None of this would exist without you. So turn it off. Stop 
creating these men who hate you. You know what to do. I love Betty Unicorn and I love you. I'm out.